morning. It's the 28th of uh, October 2022. Look here. Look at the size of that tree. I'm up in North Ferriby, East Yorkshire. And uh, I've come to look at this tree basically. I'm in the middle of, uh, well, I'm not in the middle, I am in, I would say, what once in an arable field. Looking about 89 acres, I would think, looking at it. Just through that edge row, there's another field. Looks a little bit bigger to me. Similar sort of size, but I would think a tad bigger. Anyway, the reason I'm here, look here. You can get that picture of that oak tree. I'd have to go right into the field to get that on. It's massive. And I do believe it's about 200 years old. And the bad news for this is, we're gonna chop the fucker down. Look at, look at, look at girth on that. I don't think you'll get it from my phone. You can't believe how massive it is. I'd hate to answer the guess it must be four yards down. Might be more. And yeah, we're going to knock it down. We're going to chop it down. It took it 200 years to grow. And have that down in about 20 minutes, I would think. And for what? Warehouse, Amazon, plague, plague up countryside, everything, every junction on every motorway, if you notice, the industrial units, warehouses, which I'm, I don't mind, I'm all for progress, but it's 28th of October, like I've said. Typically tropical, it must be like 16, 17 degrees. Come on, my motorbike, it should be bloody freezing, should come in. Go. Global warming. Yeah. Surely they could work around that. 200 years. And to chop it down for what? For a fucking warehouse. What nobody wants. And I know locals have been fighting. If you, look, if you search North Ferriby resident on Twitter, you'll find them and you can see it's still it's still now the fort to save it. But unfortunately, councils not helped them, MPs not helped them. They've all voted for this under industrialisation. It's beautiful countryside. For what? For a warehouse, what's what needed? Like I could say, surely they could work around that tea. Surely you could build a fucking uh, a warehouse on all this field and all that field and still leave tree. Not that you don't see any paves or anything surrounding it with concrete. But yeah, 200 years. Nobody gives a fuck on a few people. Not bothered about environment when they keep talking about environment. Do this, do that, go green, go this. It's pale lip service, they don't give a shit. They don't give a fuck about trees like this. Anyway, there's a sign on it here. Julia Bradbury Tree. North Wycombe and Amazon. Cut me down. Our dear foxes, rabbits and other wildlife will lose around 2,000 acorns a year to feed on. Save us oaks, save our wildlife. And ash is that. And as I've walked up, I've just parked down there. And as I've walked up, a deer has actually run out in front of me. Frightened me to death, it did. Roe deer. Oh deer for the roe deer. And oh deer for the fucking oak tree. Can you tell me the sense in that? Because if you can come on here, I think it's a good idea to cut that down. I want you to explain to me why. How many factories do they want? Just, as I've come down that road, there's a road there, look. As I've come down that road, there must be fucking 25, 30 Amazon vans going out, delivering whatever they're delivering. 
So that's 38. God knows how many works here. They'll all be on £10 an hour. Like, they're like ants in there working in there. First time they're down tools, they'll get a sack. Anyway, at least I'm glad I've come to see it. I'll never see it again, I'm sure. But what a marvellous tree. Isn't it? Well, I don't know what to say. For once, I'm lost for words, but... Uh, I'm just glad I'm at my stage of my life and not at my grandkids' stage, that's all I can say. Anyway, have a great day.